folks, it's Mitch here from the LimeWire Telecoms Tech Support Team. Today I'm going to be showing you our E5573CS-322 device in white. We're going to do an unboxing, we're going to go over the box details, take the goods out of the box and we will set it up for you with one of our Smarty SIM cards as a trial run. Let's get started. So first things first, what do we have on the box? Front of the box, we've got a device in white, Huawei Mobile Wi-Fi E5573C, LTE cap for up to 150 megabits high speed. That is your download speed. The sides, we've just got more graphic. Uh, the most important bit of information will be on the label here for us. It holds our IMEI number and the device serial number. Always worth hanging on to that information in case uh, you've got any questions for us. On the back of the box, or on the bottom side of the box, we've got a bit of spec of the device. It's 4G speeds of up to 150 megabits. It has uh, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigs. You can connect your device up to 16 Wi-Fi devices simultaneously, and it has a 1500 milliamp battery, uh, which should last you about six hours before a recharge. A couple of notes here on the bottom, the really minor stuff. There is a couple of things worth noting though. If ever you forget your password, there is a reset button that restores all of your default settings. It does also mention that uh, you know speeds on the box all depend on the service provider and obviously what location you are based in and what services are provided in that location. So let's go ahead and open the box. And there it is. So we've got your MiFi device, 5573, let's pop that to one side at the moment. Underneath, we have privacy policy, multi-language quick start guide, we've got your USB cable adapter, and under there we have your battery, 1500 milliamp battery. That is it, that is all we need to get our data streaming. So we pop that to one side, so there's nothing in there, we'll pop the box to one side. That's your general box contents over there. So we've got a device, our battery, our cable, quick start guide and privacy policy. So let's move on to setup. We provide our devices with a data Smarty SIM. All you have to do is jump onto their website, smarty.co.uk. It'll ask your details. And if you just jump on register, activate your card and choose your package, you're good to go. It's really easy setting up one of these devices. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's designed for a sort of plug and play, put the SIM card in, start up and go, get your data and carry on. The devices that we provide are unlocked, that means they are not dependent on a SIM card or a service provider, so you can put any SIM card inside of the device. On the back of the device, it's got all the, all the device details, so we've got the model, we've got the IP address when we want to log into the administration or web UI interface if we want to change any settings with the device. It's got all your default passwords and login details. So at the top here we've got our username and password. They come default as admin and admin. That is once we are connected to the device via Wi-Fi and you want to change any settings on the device itself, you will need to connect to the device either via Wi-Fi or with your USB cable into your laptop, for example. You would type your IP address into your web browser. That would bring up the web UI interface. It'll ask you to log in, and you need those details to log in. So your username will be admin, your password will be admin, and that should take you through one of three steps just to set up asking you to sort of customize your passwords more for something that you would remember if you wanted to it's completely optional you can keep things like your SSID which is your Wi-Fi name as the default setting and your Wi-Fi key you can also keep that default the one thing the device will ask you to change would be the administration password login so when you first log into the device administration screen will ask you to change that that password admin to something of your own everything else you can keep default. This device takes a full-size SIM card, not the micro SIM or the nano SIM, a full-size SIM card as you can see. That there, straight to the device like that, make sure it's fitted securely and that it's not caught on anything. Once the SIM card's in, we'll pop our battery in. Again, the one thing we must remember to do before we sort of start our device up and continue to, to using it is, is just make sure that the SIM card has been activated with your service provider and that there is data 
on the SIM card so that you have chosen or purchased a data package. If you don't do that, it, it can obviously you know, cause the device not to work or you not to be able to stream or pull data through the device. So just want to remember is make sure the SIM card that you have is activated with your service provider and that you are on a data plan. So once the SIM card's in, pop our battery in and we'll turn the device on by just holding that button for a couple of seconds and you'll see two green LED lights fire up and the device takes only a couple of seconds to start up. It'll let us know whether we have signal and then it tells us the health of the battery on the right hand side. So for demonstration purposes, this, this particular SIM card is not activated, so it will notify me by showing a red LED light under the signal bar symbol. If I click it once, it illuminates the LEDs and it's telling me that there's no data coming through the device at the moment. On the right hand side, obviously battery is in full health, so it's giving me a green light. These LEDs are not designed to stay on permanently, the LED is going to sleep mode. If ever you want to know, if you want to check the health of the battery or the signal, it just takes one click and those will come back on for you for a few seconds before they turn back off. As I mentioned earlier, the device download speed has a spec of up to 150 megabits per second and the upload speed is up to 50 megabits per second. Again, that is a guideline. That is how the device is designed. One thing to bear in mind is wherever you are situated, what is your mobile reception like? Are you getting 3G or 4G? These will play a very important factor into what type of speeds you are getting. And again, you know, your service provider also comes into play there. What type of SIM card service have you purchased? So these are factors that all play quite an important role. That depends what performance you get out of this. Like I mentioned, the device spec is spec to download speeds of up to 150 and upload speeds of up to 50 megabits. A couple of questions that we get asked quite frequently about this device. Sometimes our, our customers will put their SIM card in, uh, start it up, and again, they will get this red light. They'll connect to it via Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi, if ever you are struggling with it, you can find your Wi-Fi SSID on the back cover of the device. That cover is designed to go over the back of the device like that. So it'll be situated there. Alternatively, it'll be behind the battery where I was showing you earlier. Okay, so let's start with our first question. How do we use this device? Once we've got it out of the box and we've got the contents in front of us, if I've never used one of these before, how do we use it? It's very simple, very straightforward. It's not rocket science. Obviously, make sure your SIM card is in the device pop your battery in, turn your device on, whether you're connecting from a laptop or a phone or any a tablet, any device via the Wi-Fi, you will find your Wi-Fi SSID on the back cover and your Wi-Fi password key as well. So once it's on, up and running, go to your Wi-Fi settings on your tablet, laptop or phone, locate your SSID, which in this case will come up as Huawei-85DE, Click on it, click connect, and then enter the password to connect to the device. Once that is complete and you are connected, that is it. You're up and running and ready to roll. You can take this device anywhere in the world with you. Again, it is unlocked to all devices. You may have to check with your service provider just with regards to mobile roaming and data charges. Alternatively, if you just want to take the device over to a different country and buy a local SIM card, of course, you, you certainly can as well. How do I charge the battery is another question we get. It's pretty straightforward. Make sure the battery is in the device and then with your USB cable, plug the USB cable into the device, plug it into your laptop and the device will charge. You will see a pulsating green light on the LED battery indicator. The device has a battery life of up to six hours before a recharge is needed you can use the device while it's charging as well. So if the battery is running flat, still want to use the device, not a problem to use it while the battery is charging. Again, there's two ways of connecting the device. One is through Wi-Fi, the other one is through the USB cable. Common question we are asked here at the Livewire HQ is, you've started up your device, you've done everything correctly as per the instructions, and you're able to connect to your Wi-Fi, but you're still not receiving any data. Quite often, this comes down to what we call APN settings, and that is the SIM card settings that the service provider uses to pull data. Most SIM cards will pull this, these settings off of your SIM card automatically. There are a select few that 
don't. One of them is GIFGAF, and so we need to go into the settings of the device and change those manually uh, and just save those settings into our device. Once we do that, the device will work properly, no problem. So overall, it is a very small, convenient device to carry around with you around the world where you've got a continuous data connection with a very good performance, whether it be surfing the internet, streaming videos, or playing some online gaming, all in this very pocket-sized E5573CS device. Quite convenient to travel with. Universal USB charger, six hour battery life. If you folks have any further questions about how this works, if you're struggling with anything or don't understand anything, please get in touch with us through the links which we'll leave below. Alternatively, drop us a comment about the video and let us know what you think. Thank you very much.